Howdy, dorks. Good afternoon. Happy Dwarf Fortress. Hooray, hooray. Howdy, JM. How's it going? Time to stop working? Yeah, it's time. Time to drop everything. Time to drop everything and watch me play video games. That's what's important right now. Um, and yeah, it's dwarf time. Um, I think you bowed out of the last stream before the, the interesting things started happening. Um, but you're gonna see what's going on here in a couple minutes. Um, we are, we're playing adventure mode today. Uh, we started a new adventurer yesterday. Um, our, our goblin friend died because, uh, because Cyclopses are good at arm wrestling. But also we started a new one. Um, we are now a magpie person who can do very little except for sing exceptionally well. Um, and we are going to uh, bring the world together through the power of song. That's our goal today. Um, I've started assembling my bardic troop. You will see them. They're a bit ragtag at the moment, um, but my goal with this character is I really want to see how ridiculous of a bardic troop we can create. Because I have a hunch it's quite ridiculous. Um, so that's that's the goal for today. Um, this will it'll be silly, and I'm I'm very excited for this. Yeah, time to stop everything and watch me play video games. Yeah, yeah. You know what's up. Um, I definitely have the ability to compel you to do that as well, um, which is good. Um, so yeah, we're 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 kind of just gonna get into it. Um, we're we're settling into adventure mode. Um, adventure mode has gotten quite a few updates, so it's mostly complete at this point. There's still a bit. There's still you know, it's it's nearing the point where it's only as incomplete as the rest of the game, you know, um, which is you know, it's Dwarf Fortress. It'll never be done, um, but it's it's playable now. I think so. We're gonna we're gonna play it. And I'm and I'll hopefully we'll get some cool stories out of it, and maybe we'll get to uh, do some fun things with those stories. So that's that's the plan for today. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by Birdsong, Who do you eat? And also by you, clicking on buttons down there and and joining me on this, these ridiculous journeys and on my adventure. Um, that's the that's the song that I'm singing right now. So I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you being part of my my bardic troop. And and we're gonna get into it. I'm just I'm gonna shut up about it. Um, so yeah, here we are. I've already I got us loaded up. Here's our troop. <laughs> Here's uh, you can see us right here. Um, our name is Rick Dill. Um, we can look at our our actual character page here. We are Rick Dill Mirthvale, a a magpie person. We're 27 years old. Um, we're dabbling at a lot of things. We are, our, our day job before we went on this adventure was we were an administrator. <laughs> so we're a competent organizer, which is hilarious because now we're going to be organizing everything. Uh, poor Rick Dill here might get roped into being an admin for his own bardic troop. <laughs> but I think it's going to be okay. Um, we have... Uh, we have very little ability to carry things or fight things or sustain wounds. Uh, we, we've even gotten hit a couple times. Slightly impaired function to our lungs. That might actually, that might be unfortunate considering we are singing primarily. Um, a person with a head and wings of a magpie. Uh, but you can see we're, we're a competent organizer and that's like our only skill. Combat is uh, we've we've watched some people fight a bit. Uh, we're we're not very social. Uh, we're a skilled tracker. I don't actually know where that came from. And an expert singer. We're very good at singing and basically nothing else. And the knowledge that we have is mostly about poems and songs. Um, so the first thing that we did was we created a song called the sun sets on hatred. This is our song, and I specifically composed this song because uh, it has a singing part that doesn't use an instrument, uh, so we, we don't have to worry about carrying an instrument around with us. I can do the thing that I'm really good at just by just by singing. Um, so we've been singing this song for everyone. Um, you can see this full description of the song here. Uh, it's a musical composition authored by me and is an example of the lavender silks form. Uh, work has no particular subject. For lyrics, the composer has selected We See Foot. <laughs> Overall, the composition is great. Like, this is a good song, and we can sing it very well. Um, the Lavender Silks is a form of music used for entertainment, originating in the Empires of Autumn. I think that's our home civilization. 
I think. Uh, the rules of the form are applied by composers to produce individual pieces. The singer recites nonsensical words and sounds while the music is played on a fill, which I believe is a, like a percussion instrument. Um, the music is melody and rhythm without harmony. Interesting. So it's birdsong. This is literally birdsong. Um, the entire performance should, should sparkle. Oh my god, I didn't actually read this description when we first made it. Uh, we, it this, this, the performance should be shiny. Um, it is performed without preference for a scale and in free rhythm. It's spoken word birdsong. <laughs> Uh, the singer always does the main melody. The fill always provides the rhythm. Um, yeah, shiny. It's a shiny song. Uh, Lavender Silks has a well-defined multi-passage structure, introduction, brief passage, and a finale. It's a very well-defined structure with nonsense form, which is interesting. Introduction is at a free tempo, and it has to be very loud. Singer's voice covers its entire range. Uh, this... The passage has mid-length phrases in the melody. Only one pitch is ever played at a time in this passage. Well, I guess if you're singing, that makes sense. A uh, simple passage is moderately paced, and it is to become louder and louder. The singer's voice stays in the middle register. Passage has short phrases in the melody. Only one pitch is ever played at a time, because it's a song. Uh, finale is a free tempo, and it is moderately loud. The singer's voice ranges from middle to high. Passage has phrases of varied length. Phrases feature only melodic tones and intervals. The passage should be composed and performed using arpeggios. Interesting. This is very appropriate for being a magpie song, I think. Um, we're we're singing nonsense words in a very in a in a spoken word non-tempo rhythm, and then there's a a drum accompaniment, and that's the whole song, and we're very good at it. Um, and then there's everyone else, which is ridiculous. Um, I literally walked into a dwarven drinking mound and found a bunch of drunkards and sang for them and asked if they wanted to become part of my entertainment troupe, and they all said yes. So here they are. Um, you'll also notice some humans with arms and armor. Um, one of them, Ebdi, is someone that we created um, as part of... Uh, character creation. So he's been with us from the start. Uh, we should give him some food. Um, but Ebdy's like our best friend, and he's here to actually fight things because he's a human and can and like he's good at swords and basically nothing else. Um, right? Uh, proficient swordsman and proficient armor user. Um, so he's good at that and basically nothing else. Um, and he's oh uh, yeah, he's. He dreams of becoming a legendary warrior. Oh, and then our, our bird person, we dream of falling in love, I'm pretty sure. Um, as a feel for music, uh, currently less private, currently more rude, interesting. Currently more fearless, currently more confident. He is currently more shameless and currently more thoughtless. Interesting. He is getting used to tragedy. Hilarious. Um, but uh, yeah, we dream of falling in love. That's our That's our goal in life. Um, so we're, we're running around the whole world singing the song, the sun sets on hatred, and we're going to unite the world with that song. Um, but yes, we're right now we're in a human castle, I believe. It feels achievable, right? Exactly. Um, we're in we're in this human castle area of town. Not that. Um, not that. And... So if I, if I go up to a person and say, hey, you should adventure with me for the purposes of being my bodyguard or, you know, being being an adventurer with me, they say no. They will all say no because I am clearly a weakling bird person who can't fight to save my life. So they're not going to dedicate themselves to being my bodyguard, right? But if I ask them to become part of my entertainment troupe, they say yes. And then if we get into combat, they just fight anyway because combat is happening and they're not going to run away uh so we have these human guards who are part of our part of our entertainment troop uh they probably have no musical ability at all i haven't even looked at them this is just for human axeman doesn't even have a name it's got a silver halberd like he doesn't even have 
all of the the pages, right? There's it's that's just he's it's just a dude. Uh, he's got long hair. He's flimsy. <laughs> There's nothing else to know about him. Uh, dwarf farmer. Also doesn't have a name. Just wearing clothes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the whole deal right now. Um. So yeah, and then we were kind of making our way through the world. We started down here somewhere um, in a town called Cat Vault, I believe. It was it was down here, like a hamlet. Yeah, here we go, human hamlet. We started down here, and we've come up to here. We're here now. Um, if there's some there's some castles around. I kind of want to make our way to a dwarven fortress. Um, maybe we maybe we can say we make our way to like our um, to Elder Ring, which is like down here or something. Um, of course, we would have to get through all of these goblin pits. I wonder if we can befriend the goblins through song. That'll be the ultimate test. Um, but there's a, there's a dwarf fortress here as well, so that's where we're at. Um, I think I'm gonna continue persuading some of our friends here. Um, just because there's there's so many, right? See, and there's just a bunch of people here. Um, I'm gonna so we're gonna sing for them. I'm gonna say, no, nope, come on. Uh, I I don't care. We're going to perform music. We're going to sing the song "The Sun Sets on Hatred," and we're going to sing it. You begin your musical composition. The sun sets on hatred. The song is absolutely flawless. And then all these people are gonna be talking amongst themselves, but also reacting to our song. Uh, art is complicated. I know what I like, but I but some I can do without. This singer, amazing ability. This singer is magnificent. Um, and then there's other people in here. My favorite part, my favorite part of all of this is that the other part, the accompanying part of this song is just a rhythm instrument, but no one has the rhythm instrument. So when when there's a part for a song that uses an instrument, but the instrument isn't available, they simulate it with their, their mouths or their body or whatever. So the people who are joining in with us are just beatboxing drunkenly while we sing amazingly. And, and everyone will be like, that sounds vaguely like the Thill. Um, and, and it's fine. It does not detract from the quality of my singing, as far as I can tell. Uh, song is absolutely flawless. The broad human maceman makes a mockery of the Thill with a shameworthy performance. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm the good one here. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna finish up our song. It takes a little bit. It's gonna go through all of the verses and such. Um, I think I just saw a bear. Um, and the, and then, yeah, all these people... A skinny human swordsman pets the grizzly bear. We should definitely see if we can get some bears to, to join us. Um, so now I've concluded my performance. Um, so now I want to talk to these people who aren't with me. Um, which is, you know, hard to tell, really. Uh, I can start a conversation with the human. I'm going to bypass the greeting. I'm going to ask, to, uh, do you want to join me? And then you have these options. You could join on adventure, join to guide me to a location, or join my entertainment troupe. I'm gonna say that. Say, let's entertain the world together. And then, I so love the performing arts. It's time to go. So now they're with me. Now they're part of my entertainment troupe. Uh, and I'm going to start a conversation with you. Bypass the greeting and ask to join me. We en entertain the world together. Can you manage a troop so large? Oh, interesting. Are we actually hitting the... The limits here? Jeez. Okay, so we have... I don't think Ebdi counts as being part of our troop. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Interesting. Um, let's see, what about you? Join me, entertainer. Uh, telling me about a night creature for some reason. Can you manage a troop so large? Okay, maybe, uh, maybe we've hit the limit already, uh, which is fine. 
just want to make sure. Join me, entertainer. Uh, can you manage a troop so large? Okay, interesting. So yes, we've we seem to have hit a limit for for our troop. And they're all just going to continue <laughs> conversing amongst themselves. Um, there was, I saw, I saw a bear. I know I saw a bear running around. There you are. Um, is this just a grizzly bear? They're also chatty. Um, I can view, I, I don't think it's a stray. Because the strays, it seemed like it would just let you claim them. Um, we can pet it. We can do usability pet. Pet the grizzly bear. I pet the grizzly bear. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so if that's the case, then let's let's get out of here because everyone's so so dang chatty here. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Uh, I believe I've maxed out my the size of my entertainment troop. Oh, goodness. Um, I need to, I need to stand, I, we need to, like, we need to rest as well, um, at some point. Um, of course our, like, our troop is, like, talking amongst itself as well. Hello, Tun, is it time to make music? Um, time for eliminations? I, no, I mean, it might happen naturally. <laughs> We're gonna be adventuring across the, the open world, so, uh, wolves might take care of that for us, but... Uh, this is my group so far. Um, apparently I, I have 18 people in my troop. I don't know if that's just a limit of... I guess it means it's our, our total party is 20 people large. So I don't know if that's a like a hard limit or, or what that limit's coming from. Um, but that being said, I think we can get out of here. I'll just come with me. <laughs> um, and when we get out of here, I think we're gonna make camp and, and rest for a bit. Uh, can I rest here? I need to leave the site. Okay. Come on, dorks. <laughs> there are so many. Uh, okay, so now sleep until dawn. Why not? Here we are. Uh, I cannot stand by. There's no need to feel vengeful. Is something happening? Uh, are we? Are we in combat? What is happening? Oh jeez. Oh, there's dingoes. Uh, short dingo falls over. Short dingo bites the thin dwarf fish cleaner in the head. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I saw a performance of the sunsets on hatred. It's interesting. Uh, fish cleaner releases grip on the dingo. Oh dear. Uh, someone's having a hard time. The dingo latches on firmly. That's not good. Okay, so where's... I don't even see it. It's like it's... Our vision is limited because it's uh, it's dawn, I guess. Uh, I can't stand because someone's in the way. Oh my goodness. Stand, please. Stop getting on my tile. Can I fly? I can... <laughs> I can fly into the air and then stand up. Okay. Hilarious. Uh, well, I don't see any dingoes now. Dingo head. Okay, I guess we took care of it. Um, but do we still have... I guess we need to, like, eat and drink and stuff. Uh, let's have some beer. Whoops. And some more beer. Jeez, we are very thirsty, aren't we? Uh, not that. And then... 
We have some cow kidney. I feel really full. Do I? This is I'm I'm still hungry. I am still hungry. Uh, let's do one more. In here somewhere. It's too much. You might not be able to keep it down. Really? Then why am I still hungry? I'm hungry and nauseous. Strange. I don't know what that's about. Um. Manually controlled in tactical mode. Okay. Um. Okay. Seems fine. And I vomit. I'm just puking up kidney. Great. Uh, they're they're all just completely. They're still talking about that time they saw me sing. Just move away from the surrounding obstacles. What obstacles? Are there still? Oh, well, here's some more dingoes. What's this? <laughs> just retching everywhere. What is all this? I don't know what these constructions are. Can I... no? Whoops, that was... nope. I, is there like a... I wonder if there's a hotkey for just... I guess I can hit enter a bunch of times. Muscular kiwi hen roots around in the snow-covered grass. Okay. Oh, there's like a bunch of emus and stuff still. Um, okay. Can I leave now? Yes. Perfect. So let's head off to our next, our next destination. Um, we generally want to go this way. What is, I don't know what that is. This is like, this is gonna be like a camp, like a human camp. I don't know what this symbol is, and I'm curious. It might be a terrible idea to go here. Most things are gent terrible ideas. Oh, it's a little fort. Okay. Let's well, say hi. Jeez, yeah, this is gonna be... Locked? No, we can get through. Okay, interesting. Oh no! <laughs> this wasn't a human castle. Uh, we could reload. Wow, that that was that's quite unfortunate. Uh, we stepped on a trap. Uh, we, we, and we stepped on a weapon trap and it just killed us immediately. Um, that's cool. And I, I can control Ebdi. I can control our human. It was an emo, emo castle, emu castle, yeah. Um, but like now all these people aren't in our, our troop anymore. One, I guess one person is. Uh, reload? Yeah, I think I might reload. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, start a conversation. Uh, how are you feeling? Gruesome wounds, be gone, fear. Yeah. Like these, yeah, we just walked right into the weapon trap. Damn! One person has dreams of being the next Magpied Piper, yes. Uh, okay, well, let's, um... Can I... I want to go to... I want to quit without saving. Dwarf Fortress has got no plot armor mechanic. It's very, very true. This is something very characteristic of... of adventure mode specifically. As you... 
you you can have it you could adventure on for 50 years and defeat the defeat angels and and demons and be the most powerful person in the world and then die to an infection that is absolutely possible in door fortress okay so we have reloaded is the song diggy diggy hole appropriate for this game yes of course um, we've had, we've had, we've talked quite a bit about Diggy Diggy Hole, haven't we? Um, yes, always appropriate. So I think I have a couple more slots here. I think I might not recruit more from here like we did just a second ago. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I think I can I can get like two more people in here. Um, let's get them from from a different place. I'm gonna I'm, let's be a little more a little more cautious this time. Um, how did I how did I get out? Was it this way? I think it was this. Yes, yes. Um, we're just gonna get out of here. All of our friends are gonna come with us. And then now I think we can... Nope, still have to get a little further out. I don't know what, I'm curious what these are. They're just little, little walls out in the middle of nowhere. Check boxes. Are you dwarf and are you digging a hole? If so, diggy diggy hole is right for you. Yes. Uh, oh, I discovered a river. Hooray. Um, okay, so that's that's a bad symbol. We're gonna we're gonna not go to that. We are not we are not the adventurer who is equipped for that. Oh look, we're being ambushed by wolves now. Uh, so me, I'm going to fly. Uh. Is there a way to like... What is this do? Party member is currently automated in tactical mode. I don't really actually know what that does. Um, but I think I need to let them all handle the wolves. And I'm just going to be up in the air because that makes me essentially invincible to wolves. Uh, then human draws the boning knife. Yes, cool. We're all just gonna have fun down there. Uh, thin Dwarf takes the skinny wolf down by the second front toe. Cool. Uh, skinny wolf bites the thin Fisher Dwarf. Wolves are charging. Chubby wolf latches on firmly. Fat wolf bites the human. Chubby wolf has lost, uncon lost consciousness. That's cool. Uh, skinny wolf is knocked unconscious. Fat dwarf breaks the grip. The dwarf farmer pets the skinny wolf? What? Why? <laughs> uh, wee bit of feedback. It feels the text pops up more important in understanding in adventure mode. It's hard to read. Read them, and when half lurking too, it'd be good to have just a bit more sense of what's happening, not reading it all out, but just general gist. Yeah, totally. Um, as a pro DF player, you're clicking through stuff very fast. So the stuff that I'm clicking through very fast, um, so like if it's if it's relevant, I will will call it out. But like as we're moving around and there's just text popping up, that's literally just the dwarves following us being like, I saw a tree, it was nice, and having kind of a real like real basic um, small talk. Like the things they're saying aren't very significant um, is what I find. Um, and they'll say the same things frequently and over and over again. So it, it's that's mostly just me knowing that what they're saying um, is probably not relevant. But now that like we're, we're looking at wolf combat. So this like this will we'll keep an eye on. Um, but yes, thanks for thanks for the feedback. Totally. Um, it's I think it's it's partly a matter of finding a balance between 
calling out enough that we understand what's going on, but not getting too bogged down in, in reading all of the text because there's a lot of... The game will give you a lot of text. Um, so I think we're doing okay here. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay up in the air still. There's definitely still some fighting going on. We can't see all the wolves because of the trees, which is, you know, a little unfortunate. But um, I'm I'm gonna stay in the air so I don't get my head bitten off by a wolf. Uh, dwarf former punches a skinny wolf in the head. Uh, I haven't seen any wolves get struck down yet. Um. Hopping between home workout stuff, so I'm gonna make it slow. Yeah, no worries. Lurkin's cool. Um, yeah. So we have Fat Dwarf punches the Fat Wolf. Hilarious. Um, Boars twist the neck, tearing the muscle, tearing apart the fat. But again, that that didn't kill the wolf. Uh, thin human slashes the wolf with a copper boning knife. Slim dwarf, char slim dwarf drunk charges the fat dwarf farmer from behind. Why? These drunks might be a liability. Uh, drunk collides with the drunk with the dwarf farmer. The slim dwarf drunk bounces backward. Hilarious. Um, oh, there we go. Skinny human stabs the wolf in the head with a copper longsword, uh, and and chops off the head. Um, so that's good. Fat Dwarf Farmer releases the grip of the... Uh, releases grip on the head. Gotcha, okay. I don't... and I don't know if, um... I don't know if I can see, like, a readout of how many creatures are actually nearby. I think there's, there's at least two wolves still. They don't have names. So some people will have names, but like I, I found a lot of people who don't have names because they're not, I don't know, they, they haven't done anything significant enough to have a name. Um, the people that we we start as as adventurers get a little bit more depth to them as as just the, the average person walking around. Um, so we have a lot of we have a lot of riffraff with us right now. Uh, wolf latches on firmly. Jeez. Uh, fish cleaner breaks the grip of the wolf's teeth around his upper body. Well, that's good. How fleeting life is. This does not scare me. The uh, fat wolf falls over. Fat wolf bites the thin dwarf fish cleaner in the head and latches on firmly. That's not great. Um, we'll let them all continue. I haven't seen anyone die yet. We've just seen the, the some wolves have died, but none of the none of our friends have died. Uh, Fissure Dwarf is no longer stunned. Like there's Udil. Like they're not all of them are nameless. Some of them have names. Um, I wonder if as they get like wolf kills, if they'll gain names or something. Uh. Let's see. Frail Dwarf Planter punches the fat wolf in the leg. Udil stabs the wolf with a boning knife. Major artery's been opened. Fisher Dwarf punches the wolf in th in the head. Uh, tearing apart the skin, bruising the fat, bruising the upper spines and nervous tissue. Cool. Fish Cleaner punches the fat wolf. Uh, in the paw. Okay, injured part explodes into gore. Artery has been opened. Got it. Cool. I mean, most of this is us doing stuff, so that's a good sign. Fat wolf bites the dwarf in the hand, tearing the muscle through the glove. Got it. There is a little, there's some blood on the ground. There's definitely some blood on the ground. Um... And I could, like, I could take control of our of our human friend to do the combat, but what I noticed last time was that the, like, that means Rickdale just kind of enters the fray on his own. He won't just stay safe in the air. Uh, Fat Wolf gives in to pain. Good. Uh, Udil punches the wolf in the leg. Cool, cool, cool. 
Uh, just beating the crap out of these wolves. Feral human pikeman stabs the wolf in the head from the side with a silver pike, tearing the muscle. Wow, and then just annihilates that wolf. But it's still alive somehow. Iron boning knife is lodged firmly in the wound. Farmer grabs the wolf by the rear paw, punches the wolf in the head, force twists the neck, artery's been opened, tendon in the skull has been torn, tendon in the upper spine has been bruised, the chubby wolf has been struck down, perfect, okay. And then Udil pulls on the abetted boning knife, gains possession of the knife. Human stabs the fat wolf in the head from behind. Cool. Uh, fat wolf has been struck down. Cool. Uh, Udil straps the iron boning knife to upper body. Thin human straps the copper boning knife to upper body. Excellent. I think we're good. Uh, cool. So we, we just fought off a wolf ambush. Um, and that was like three or four wolves, I think. Um, let's see if I can... Yes, yeah, you're all, you're all fine, whatever. I wanna see if I can, uh... Well, I can, I can get to the corpse, but I want to, I want to butcher. We're going to butcher, or no... No butchery tool available. I think our, our friend can do it. Are you, you're in a tree? Good. Can we get down? Uh, why don't we get down? I want to... Do I just want to jump down? Jump. There we go. Uh, they don't want to dodge me. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, butcher, chubby wolf. I don't matter which. Uh, you butchy, butcher the corpse. And then I assume you have to pick up the parts. Um, so wolf meat, right? Get wolf meat. Okay. Um, and then I think that's good, right? Because we can just eat the wolf meat. Oh, we even have a bunch already. Uh, maybe I will... I'll drop the wolf meat and then switch over to Rickdale. Get back on the ground. It's just flying around. Um, and then the here. I want to no get wolf blood. Oh, I need to be here, don't I? Get wolf meat. There we go. Okay. Of course, that over encumbers me, but. Uh, Jeez, that's it's fine, whatever. Um, we just we can't we can't carry anything. I'm almost tempted to get rid of the iron helmet, but I mean, uh, we can we can put this in a bag, right? Can I not put that in the bag? The inventory is still throwing me for a little loop for a little bit of a loop. Um, we are, we're holding, we have a pouch and a backpack. So I'm curious why the wolf meat won't go in there. Put an item into a container. Uh, oh, we could put the beer in the backpack, right? Uh, and these can go the backpack. Into the pouch? Sure. I'm curious why our, like, what's in our backpack? Fill backpack with snow. Hmm. I am good. Fill backpack with wolf blood. 
but that'll be useful. Um, I think I think that's fine. We we got some wolf meat. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and save. It's maybe a little bit out of the spirit of Dwarf Fortress to to save scum and 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 reload when you die, but uh, this character's fun, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be safe with it. I, I just can't get over the fact that I can go to a bunch of dwarves or like a bunch of guards and just be like, you're you're part of my bardic troop now. And they'll be like, sure. Cool. Um, does that mean we can leave? Yes. Cool. So we're not going to go. We're not going there. Um, oh, trenches. Interesting. Is this like, um might be taken over by, by goblins? These are all just, yeah, abandoned houses, ruined houses. I think this has been, I think this has been taken over. I think this, this might all be goblin stuff. Is this a uh, fellowship of pumpkins? There's a tavern here. Um... Assuming we still have all our people. Looks like we do. Whoop, whoop, ha, whoop, uh, center. Okay. So this this could potentially be dangerous. Um, like, like this is, uh, they're just talking amongst themselves. Let's stop this pointing, pointless fighting. They're, are they quarreling amongst themselves? I will fight no more. Greetings, my name is Behal. I've defeated many fearsome opponents. Like, they're just... They're just talking. Um, we have... So other than, like, our Ebdi, our, our friend, we have one, two... Two people are named. We had Udil and Mez Mebzeth, um, who are both dwarves. Everyone else is just dwarf or human. This is literally just human. <laughs> this, this is just a guy. Um, I saw a performance of the sun sets on hatred. I find this somewhat admirable. Uh, long ago, Domas became mayor of the Sepia Clasp. They're, they're, they're just kind of going on. Uh, it looks like it's an abandoned place. I wonder if there's anything in here. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, Ashen Training Sword, Large Bronze Cap, Lord, Large Hemp Chossuses. Of course, this is all going to be, like, human-sized. Large Copper High Boot. The gem is interesting. We could, we could, in theory, like, actually barter with the gem at this point. Um, Silver Arrows isn't that bad either. Um, I'm definitely going to take the gem. And and put it in in a bag, right? Uh, put in backpack. And then was it gonna actually let me do? Yeah, wolf meat goes in in oh in that hemp bag. Can I then take the hemp bag? Get hemp bag. And then I want to put the hemp bag in. No? Okay. Uh, I'm like, I'm so over encumbered. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say... Oh, why did I grab... Did that bag have a bunch of stuff in it? I'm gonna say... Drop that. And then, yeah, okay. That bag had a bunch of stuff in it. Um, but we still have... I'm back and angry. Hi, sorry about that. Start the crowdfunder. I, I mean, I guess it, it's got to be my graphics card. 
because I did the green screen thing again on my end. And it, like, that's the first time in a very long time that that's happened in Dwarf Fortress. Um, and of course, Dwarf Fortress does update and then sometimes break things. Uh, but it, I don't know, the way that it crashed made me feel like that was a, I think it's a my computer thing, which is super cool. Anyway, um, we'll get this going again real quick. Of course, it, I'm glad we saved after the wolves at least. If nothing else, that's good. Uh, good practice for crash reasons. There we are. And then we're here. We're just gonna continue. Yeah, after Wolves. <laughs> Sorry about that. Doesn't make me super grumpy or anything. Okay, everyone cross your fingers. Hopefully that's just the end of it for, for the day. We got our one in for the day. Um, if we get another, what does that simply mean? If we get another crash, I might just not continue for the day. Cause I, cause I don't want to subject you all to just me restarting my computer over and over again. Um, but hopefully that's, that's the end of it. Um, let's sleep until well, what time is it right now? It doesn't really tell me what time it is right now. Let's get it. Just let's do get a little nap in. Um, so now it says we are stunned. Is that just because we're waking up? No. Weird. Okay. Uh, well, let's let's drink our let's drink our beer. Let's eat our wolf meat and then stand up. No, someone's in the way. Oh, come on, really? I'm going to fly and then stand and then land. <laughs> okay. Try this again. Uh, I bet the loot in here is going to be the same still. So I need, I at least want to grab that gem. I think I'm going to do it on the other person on our on our human friend since he can actually carry some things. Um, but yeah, so silly. OK, so human friend Ebd uh, is basically at capacity anyway. Uh, but we have two swords. We have a bronze short sword and a copper long sword, which you are dual wielding right now. Cool. Um, I'm actually going to drop the drop the copper long sword just for carrying capacity reasons. Um, and that gives us 10 weight to, to work with. And you also need food and drink. Eat. drink and then we're gonna go look over at this bag really what we need is a pack animal we should find a we should find a horse um okay so i'm gonna get the large gem because that's good and that doesn't weigh too much i'm gonna put the large gem in a container which is gonna be interesting I want to put it in in my pouch. Uh, put in. No, interesting. Uh, well, what else was here? There's a bunch of arrows, some boots, anything f fancy in here. We should stand up. 
bronze shield, hemp sandal, another backpack. Uh, can I eat? I wish I could look, look inside the bag. Uh, more backpack. A, it's a decorated albatross leather backpack. Neat. Uh, silver spear. Cool. Bronze bolts. Electrum flask. Oh, interesting. It's oddly specific. Uh, pick up the plumwood chest. No, that's not... That's not what I wanted. Uh, I can... I'm just gonna drop it. Yeah. Okay. And I want to see what's in... Is this an attack? Are we being... Are we being attacked? Locum? Thin Dwarf Shearer. I don't... Yeah, we're... Okay, someone... Someone came in and is attacking us. So the Amethyst Man and the Skinks. No. No. These are all just... I guess this is all fine. Muscular Dwarf Farmer. The army of our top... Dwindle Drakes is marching upon bridged alleys. Interesting. Uh, well then, see, they just pick up the chess. I want to know... How do I just view the contents of a chest? Can I... Oh, if I, could, if I right click on it, I guess that's the thing. Uh... To, or move to here, and then I can, and then I can look. Okay. Ooh, an iron warhammer. Um, an emu leather headscarf. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I don't know. A uh, leather coat with Phil. Is Phil the thing that we care about? That'd be hilarious if we could actually have the instrument. Uh, I go here. Oh, come on. Uh, I want to look at our our knowledge and our song. Sunsets on hatred. The fill. Oh my goodness. Can we even like it's gonna be big, right? I bet you it's big. Get willow fill. At least it's made of willow. It's literally the lightest wood, right? Or I guess lightest sur surface wood. Uh, I, yeah. I put it in the backpack, and that doesn't over encumber me. Oh my god! We just have a fill now. Uh, okay, what is it? It's a finely crafted willow fill. Fill is a huge stationary percussion instrument. It consists of a wooden bar. The musician strikes the bar. Instrument has a single mid-low pitch. The instrument has a smooth, delicate, piercing timbre. It's a giant wood block that you just hit. Hilarious. Okay. It's just a giant piece of willow. I'm okay with this. Um, okay, so they're all... I ate a meal. I am content. Uh, and they're all just... Yeah, they're all just telling jokes to each other. I think we're good here. Uh, and then, yeah, um, I think these are going to be bad. I think these are bad. So I'm not going to, I'm going to not, I'm going to not deal with those. Um, I don't know what these are. Might be more taverny things. Oh, you need a refresh. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm here now. Welcome back. Long ago, Edom became mayor of the Laborers' Wheel. Cool. 
Yeah, hello, Iton. Oh, did someone else get a name? Yeah, okay, we have Udil and Mebzith and Tun. And Tossid. I think they, they're gonna, like, gain names. As they do significant things. Um, so there's... I guess I can look here. The Monastery of Bastion Swallow. But there's... there's this. This is gonna be more... This is gonna be bad stuff. Um, let's do a... let's do a save. Since that's a thing I'm allowed to do. Fortunately, I think the, the graphics card market has evened out a bit. I definitely, like, I bought this graphics card, like, shortly before the pandemic, or, like, right at the start of the pandemic. And then it became quickly impossible to, to get anything else, right? But I think we're, I think things are okay now. Um, I wish I could tell everyone... Start a conversation. Like, I can... I can give them orders, right? Express emotions, state values, comment on weather. Try to calm the listener. demand or issue order so I can say I can say wait here and in the fath says of course um, but like I'd have to do that with each individual person right I can't I can't just say like everyone hold on I'll I'll go in alone uh, oh it is a tavern interesting Okay, so it's a it's an empty dining hall, and you actually did stay there. Okay, maybe I need to do that with uh with our bird person. I'll like take take Rickdale up into the air and then have Ebdy say wait there. Um. Okay, so then I can say uh, make request and then yeah follow. Yes, let's go. Okay. So that's just an empty thing, I guess. Oh, but I can't fast travel from here. I assume it's all just going to be empty buildings. Oh, beds. Okay. Interesting. Can we actually... Can we actually use the beds? Not really. <laughs> um, well, there was another one. There's two more to the south. Please, you're too tired to stand. Really? It doesn't tell me that I'm tired. Overexerted. Okay. Uh, well, then how about we sleep? Cannot rest until we leave. Okay. some statues. Interesting. View. Clear Zircon statue of Smuntzu Beguiled Cruelty. Whoever that is. Uh, what is that a statue of? Golden Barrel statue of Tequil Skunk, skunk Gorges. Okay. <laughs> they're all just they're all just laughing. <laughs> they're all just telling jokes. That's all they're ever doing. Oh, I passed out. Great. We just need to get out of here so we can sleep.
<laughs> they really are just all laughing. It's pretty great. Okay. Cannot, cannot rest. Where there are bards? They're not even bards. The, they are, like, the dwarves are just random dwarves that I found in a, drink, in a drinking hall. They agree to become my bards, but they don't have any experience with it. Uh, can I rest here? Nope. Jeez. Okay, maybe this is fine. There we go. Until dawn, please. There we go. Um, now I need to, you know, eat and drink. Eat. There should be like quick buttons for eating and drinking. Just since it's a thing that we have to do pretty frequently. I wonder how people are... There might be mods and stuff already. Uh, water. There we go. I got an, into an argument with Rickdill. It makes me bitter. Oh no! You got into an argument with me? Jeez. Let's go to our our friend here. Um, I'm curious. Exhilarated after getting into an argument. Oh dear. Satisfied after realizing the nuances of introspection. Content after eating a fine dish. Grouchy drinking the same old booze. Interesting. Satisfied improving observations. Satisfied improving tracking. Excited while performing. Grouchy while eating the same old food. Interesting. So we need to vary up our food to keep us happy. But overall, I think we're okay. Prone to discord. <laughs> um, don't have any wounds or anything. On oh, here, yeah, all my companions. And then I have some longtime acquaintances. Some f on, we're on friendly terms with a bunch of people. I really didn't have any. I don't have any family. I don't have any family to speak of, just people I'm friends with, and then all of these companions. Oh my goodness. Uh, da, da, da. I can't, okay, go up, and then stand, and then land. Oh, it didn't even... Okay, whatever. We're just gonna, we're just gonna fast travel. Most surrounding obstacles? There. No. I feel like... Did we lose some people? Uh... We've lost some people. We still have Ebdi. Where'd everyone else go? This was a problem we were having with, uh, with our bears, too. If you... You don't have all your people with you when you, uh... When you go into fast travel mode, oh, let's see. There, here's some. Unless I like dark conversation. Do you want to neutral, impatient, animated? Like I don't know. I can tell him to join me because we're all because I already have invite listener to join the green pumpkins I'm sorry but I can't join the troop why not what if I sing for you everyone perform the song uh doop finish yeah they're all, and they're all just gonna like it. Sing beautifully. Conclude your performance. Um, like this is Siege Operator Rith. Are you 
no. Right? So... Continue conversation with Siege Operator Rith. Invite to join. Yes, it'll be great. Okay. Weird. Or farmer. Join the green pumpkins. Yes, it'll be great to perform with you. Okay. Strange. Um, I'm, oh, geez, always with the wrong buttons. See, did that even... Did that even work? Yeah, Rith, are you... Are you gonna come along? Leave Green Pumpkins, so... Or I can kick them out. Or an I could leave. Interesting, I could form a troop and then leave it. And then just let them all... Just let them all handle it. Uh, bring up Journey Together. This is the life for me! But are you even in... I'm confused. Um, I could tell you to... Change the subject. Issue order. Uh... And see, that, that claims that they're already following, quote-unquote. Strange. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Um, fortunately, all of our people except for Ebdi are basically um, interchangeable. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, do I want to we just bail? We have one, we have one human swordsman, and then the rest of them are just our, our dwarf friends. Well, we have the named ones. We have the named ones, at least. Um, okay, so that means we need to find more people. <laughs> uh, I'll try to find some places that aren't... These are all trenches, right? This is all going to be abandoned as well. This is all goblin town. Abandoned houses. There's a castle over here, but this might be... Is this okay? I guess we'll find out. I guess we're hungry again. Um, it seems like if I switch to... Like, they'll, the NPCs will feed themselves, right? So if I switch from one to the other, they just kind of... I guess he didn't that time. Sometimes I'll just figure it out. the entrance is, so I'm just gonna fly. There's a human. Hello, human. Fuse lobed ears, human metalsmith. Uh, hi. How are you feeling? I was out in a blizzard, so exasperating. I guess that's fair. Um... I guess I can view you. Clumsy, intolerant, stubborn. Weaponsmith, Armorsmith. Silver slicing knife. Let's find some people with some good gear. May or not may or may not be a thing. Um flying is so convenient. <laughs> and all of our friends will figure find their way in here eventually. Oh you! What about you? You, uh, human lasher, ambitious, envious, disdains leisure time. Oh, you have a silver whip and an iron shield. Like that's, that's good. Uh, you, I'm gonna sing. 
perform, the sun sets on hatred, sing. I'm going to impress everyone here, and then look, they're joining in. Jeez, there are so many people here. Uh, sounds vaguely like the fill. Okay, so now human lasher. Uh, start a conversation. Ask to join you as an entertainer. Let's entertain the world together. I love to travel and create art. Excellent. So now you're... Oh, see, so you no, know, like, where'd everyone go? They're all... I didn't... I, they were just here. Where'd they all go? They were all just here. Hmm. That's something I definitely don't understand yet. Like, where did... You were just over here. They're, like, trying to find their way in or something? I don't know if they're even still, like, loaded. I don't know if they technically are on the map anymore. When that happens. So I don't know how I'm thrown in the air. Oh, I think I just fell to the ground. Yeah, okay. Oh, now see, now they're here. They are. Okay. Uh, let's land. Am I, did I? I injured myself. I think I fell to the ground. Oh, but see, Ebdy is still somewhere else. But they all caught up. That is so strange. Um, of course, I fell to the ground because I was over-exhausted. Keeping care of yourself is a, a whole thing, isn't it? Eat. Um, and I don't imagine we can sleep here. No idea where... Just vomiting in IRL 2. I know, right? Like, it's it's realistic. <laughs> Having to put in a lot of effort to survive, but... My goodness. Too tired to stand. I don't... And we still haven't found Ebdi. Where's... Where did Ebdi go? Here's, here's an entrance. It'd be cool if we could stay a night in the castle. We'll see if we can find someone to ask permission. Jeez. Gotten into an argument, like... <laughs> our, our bird person really likes arguing. That's a tower. Where's... Where's the middle part? Here we are. I'm just crawling around in the courtyard on the ground, passing out. Oh, where's the entrance? No, nope, it's there, okay. Oh my goodness. On the ground, please. I guess I can do, um... There was a... Sneaking combat. No. Maybe it's just because I'm exhausted right now. But there was a way to say, like, don't fly or something. Um, hi. I don't know. So let's see if I can... Request permission to stay for night. Ask permission to stay for a day. Let me shelter here. Oh, I'm sorry, permission is not mine to give. Okay, but who? Clear-voiced Baroness. Um, permission to stay. 
Certainly, it'd be terribly someone to fend from themselves. Cool. So now let's. Oh, but it's not gonna let me. Really? No, but they gave me permission. <laughs> they said it. W the Baroness says it was okay. Okay. Well. Jeez. Okay. Holy cow. Human is no longer enraged. Okay. They're all having fun. Fish cleaner, tanner, farmer, armorer. Oh my goodness. Okay. I have no idea where we are now. Just some some castle passages, I guess. And they're wow. I think they're all um fighting each other or like not not fighting fighting, but like they're doing stuff. I can't tell if it's like our people fighting their people or if it's just the humans that are here are just rambunctious. Probably a combination. Okay, let's get let's get out of here. If they won't let me sleep here. And my, my mouse is falling apart. Everything's falling apart. Um, okay, so the entrance was over on this side. <laughs> I'm just gonna continually pass out. Here we go. Well, we reunited with some of our people at least. I don't know where Ebdi is, though. Nope, that's not right. Is the flying something character can do? It's not just a general fast travel. Right, so the... So everyone can fast travel, but I'm a bird, so I can fly. Like, that is because I am a bird, specifically. Uh, maybe this one? But also, I'm so exhausted that if I try to fly right now, I'll just fall out of the sky again and, and injure myself. There we go. Okay. Goodness. So I need to get far enough away that we're not in the sight anymore. Yeah, I need to leave the sight. Now we can sleep. There we go. So now, now I'm just hungry and tired, or hungry and thirsty. Um, yeah, and then our, like our, oh, we've we've hurt our wrist, but we're fine otherwise. And then we have most of our people. Still don't know where Ebdi ran off to. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. Um, but we've lost some of our named people too. Like where did... There was an M name. We have our Lasher, our human Lasher. That's probably good. Um, okay, well at least we can map travel from here. Um, so now we're here. We we went by a monastery. 
There's a, there's a monastery to our north. There's a tomb to our north. There's a cave and a lair way over there. A hydra and a troll. Nice. Um, these are all dwarven hillocks. Okay, maybe we'll, let's go over towards these dwarven lands over here. There's a goblin camp. The business of relics. Interesting. The cracked ankles. <laughs> Jeez, this, all of these lands are just so, so dangerous with goblins. Uh, of course, it doesn't... I think I want to go over towards all this. So we're just going to go, we're just going to go east. And not touch any of this junk. Yeah, here we go. These are these are helixes. This is dwarven stuff. Here we go. Hopefully it's not all abandoned. Since it's in the middle of goblin territory. There we go. Drinking mound. So this is, so outside of fortresses, these are the kind of structures that dwarves make. Um, I guess not this itself. Where's, here we go. Little, like these little holes in the ground, literal holes in the ground. <laughs> and then and then here, there's a bunch of dwarves just sitting in here. Uh, muscular back, dwar muscular dwarf blacksmith, armor, trapper, Stone crafter, tanner, brewer, farmer. They're all just they're all just here. And th that's how they live. That's how dwarves usually live. Just little hangouts. Yeah, it's like their house. These are their houses. Um, or they'll have and they'll have these big social buildings called drinking mounds. Which I don't know. Short walk to the east. Maybe that's what we're looking for. Again, and this is here's one too. Go go inside, and then here's another little little hole in the ground. Literal holes in the ground. Farmer, farmer, wax worker, stone crafter, farmer, administrator, planter, tanner, potash maker, stone carver. Um, no one that I really care to to bring with me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna sing for them anyway. Why don't we just sing for everyone, right? Sing, and we're just gonna we're just gonna do the whole thing. Um. Sounds vaguely like the Thill. And of course, the one the one Thill we found is with Ebdi. <laughs> There's no room for mercy in this world. Jeez, okay. Um, so yes, you conclude your performance. What'd you all think of that? Bring up your performance. I saying the sun sits on hatred. And then they reply, we should all be so lucky to be to truly master a skill. Yes, I saw a magpie man perform the sun sets on hatred. It's interesting. And now we're good. Uh, oh, this looks like a mound. Jeez. Okay, here we go. We go inside. It's just a big open area. And and there's a bunch of dwarves in here. Uh, blacksmith, mayor, farmer, farmer, fish cleaner, trader, stone cutter, glazer, clother, dyer, farmer, stone cutter, gem setter, engraver, fish cleaner, cook, farmer. 
So yeah, um, I'm going to perform, sing. Uh, ton sounds vaguely like the intended fill. Nice. I wonder if they're going to get better as we practice. Like maybe they'll get really good at simulating the fill. There we go. Ton makes a mockery of the fill. Um, but like, let's look at let's look at Ton. Um, I don't think I can look at them from here. No. Where are you, Ton? Ton. View. Oh, but you don't even get skills, do you? I wonder if they're even getting skill experience at all. Interesting. Strong perfectionist. Disdains independence. Feels enjoyment while performing, so he's having fun. Oh, but see, the novice, novice Fisher Dwarf. Okay. So they, they have skills. I wonder if they are gaining experience in singing or simulating the fill as we go on. Um, I also need food and drink again. Quinoa beer. Starting to feel full. It tells me to keep eating. I feel really full. Strange. Yeah, it still says hungry and thirsty. Okay, so we are... We're here at this hillix. There is a goblin camp far to the north-northwest. Far, 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 far. Okay. And what's this? There's just little... There's just random walls out here. here to this one we're just gonna spread the word of us of our of our talents as we as we go through all of here um yeah here drinking mound uh dwarven hillocks east southeast Somewhere. It is noon. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Interesting. It made it look like we were. Yeah, I'm, I want. There is something to our west. Okay, and then if I... Nope, stop, stop, stop. Here we go. How will you move? Uh... Can I say... This is just maximum flight speed at all times. Um... It doesn't look like I can... Can I actually just walk? Interesting. I don't know that I have like an actual walk option. It looks like I'm only, only ever flying. That's not what I meant. I want to, I'm just too tired to stand again. Jeez. Now let's just, oh, we can sleep here. <laughs> interesting to be like I wonder like they're they're sharing facts about the world right um, this might be a mound and I wonder how much of that is ending up in in this character's knowledge here we go hello everyone good morning 
I'm gonna walk into this area where they're all clearly sleeping and sing them awake. Perform the sun sets on hatred. Uh, haha, you're funny. It's good to see you. Goblin said, are you gonna eat that? It's the black tiff reap sharks and the forgotten beasts. Okay. Good. They might have all been asleep <laughs> for that to happen. Uh, bring up my performance. I sang. And I didn't say anything. I think they're still asleep. <laughs> they just didn't respond. <laughs> what about you, farmer? Nope. Okay. My performance was lost on them. But see now, here's just another mound here. These are clearly like the living quarters, right? I wonder if I should just... Can I wait here? Yeah, here, let's just... Let's just wait three hours for people to like actually wake up. better. Uh, so now, sing. Perform. Sun sets on hatred. Hooray! Hooked Nose Dwarf Liemaker makes a mockery of the Thill. It's fine, though. This song will be amazing anyway. Is that supposed to be the Thill? I like how the Thill is literally just a giant wooden block. So I really wonder how badly you can imitate a thill. Like, if you're just going bonk, then you're imitating a thill. But no one can do it properly. <laughs> it's a great day to fall in love all over again. Uh, I want to start a conversation. Bang your chest like a gorilla to imitate. Yeah, ex but you can't do that too poorly, right? It's just gonna look like it's gonna sound like something. Also, hi. Or skull. That's probably the more dwarvy way. Um, what did you think? I performed. We should all be so lucky as to master a skill. Excellent. You have all borne witness to my glory. Now I will move on. Uh, what about this random hole? Hello, everybody. How about a song? Perform. Perform the whole song. Try to focus on practical side. Uh, that sounds vaguely like the Thill. This singer has promise. I look splendid today. <laughs> <laughs> Spare me the compliments. My name is Udil. The elf said, are you going to eat that? Uh, let's see. Anything else? It all seems... Yeah, you, you conclude. Cool. Hello. What, what did you think? I performed. The amount of practice that goes into mastering a skill is so impressive. Cool. They all like me. They really like me. Uh, do I still... How many people do I have now? I still have a scroll bar. I guess we're still in okay. We have... We got three... Three armed people. I could just take a, a bunch of dwarves from here, right? I kind of I like the ones that are labeled as, as drunk. I want to find more, more, more actual drunkards. Uh, farmer, fish cleaner, bookbinder. Like these are all productive members of society. Clother, farmer, wax worker, bookbinder. Because, geez, they're all so chatty. Uh. 
Civic mound. I guess we want to find a drinking mound specifically, right? These are all civic mounds. Drinking mound. Oh, it's this big... I see. Okay. This is the drinking mound. Um... Supposedly right underneath us. Supposedly right underneath us. I don't know. Where is it supposed to be? Nope, come on. Strange. And then we're... Come on, people. They don't... They just don't follow when I'm... When I'm in the air. Interesting. Okay, so I think that's part of the confusion is... is they don't path to me when I'm in the air. where this drinking mound is because I certainly do don't see it are we time to sleep again I guess it says it's right there I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna give up on this drinking mound there's another one over over to our west or our east Let's just do that. Alright, these are Hillux Castle Mound, Drinking Mound. Interesting. This says Hillux of. Like, these are different sites. Yeah, okay. Need more food and drink. We're gonna go through all of our cow kidneys at this rate. Uh, wolf meat. See, it says we're still, still says we're hungry and very thirsty. I'm gonna need more drink pretty soon, actually. Of course, uh, Ebdi had all of our... <laughs> all of our spare food. Uh, oh, look, a hole in the ground. Hello, and they're all sleeping, of course. Can I... We can just wait here. Or not. Uh, just wait. Yeah, there we go. And then... I just want to know where the drinking mound is. Here we go. This looks right. Farmer, lie maker, farmer, farmer, thresher, cheese maker, farmer, beekeeper, diagnostician, miller. Interesting. It's not quite the, not the drunks. See, now it's saying that we're, like, way over here. Uh, yes, whatever. Yeah, I don't 
now. Supposedly there's a... Supposedly there's a big mound here. Um, not this. I think we got our people. Can we... can we sleep again? Okay, I think I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. Uh, but we are... We're cruising across the landscape. I just wish I could figure out how to actually find some of these these mounds. Um, but yeah, I will be I will be right back. Uh, except my thing isn't going to be my little fancy switchy thing because my computer crashed. Of course, the, there's a cat tail on my mouse pad. Also super helpful. Be right back. Turn. Cat, you can move your tail up to anywhere else on the desk, even. And you wouldn't get caught in my mouse pad. <laughs> um, okay. I want to look at our world here. Um, of course, we're only getting closer to all the dangerous... Like, this, this part of the world is a disaster. Um, I don't think we can sing our way out of goblin encounters. Um, there's a fort down there. Yeah, let's head, let's head south from here. There are more hillixes. Um, I'm curious. This is a, this is a hillock. A civic mound. Okay, yeah, let's go down this way. Is this going to be... I think this little chimney, does that mean it's a drinking mound? Yes, it is a drinking mound. Oh, are we right here? It looks better. Oh look, it's a bunch of goblins. Braille goblin drunk. Braille goblin drunk. Recessed chin goblin drunk. A dwarf drunk. Thick lifts dork drunk. Dwarf drunk. Okay, here we go. We could befriend the goblins. Hey, how do you get the dwarf fort guys running along the bottom of the screen? I am using a, uh, a third party program called Stream Avatars, um, which is just a, a general program that is used for making figures of some kind. And then I did fanciness to make it use the, the Dwarf Fortress art. Um, that's that's my my magic sauce right there is, is using the Dwarf Fortress assets for it. But um, it comes with some it comes with some default ones um, like generic little little dudes. Um, but it also uses uses the uh, the work, the Steam Workshop. So there's a whole bunch of people who have made packs for it. Um, like there's like a, like big Pokemon packs, I think. So you can download it and use other people's packs, but I did this one. That was that one's me. Didn't know you'd set it up like that. Yeah, it was a while ago. Um, I really like them. Thank you. I I like them too. I'm a fan of them. Um, there's more stuff that the 
that stream avatars can do that I'm, I'm not using the full capacities of it, um, but it has like a bunch of mini games built into it. Um, like there's the one that you'll see these little stars pop up every once in a while, and I can do them manually too. Uh, but then you can hit, uh, like you can try to jump to try and catch the stars, uh, is how it works. Um, well, they should last longer than that. Um, and of course you have to like time it through the stream delay, which is fun, but, uh, but yeah, they're like little interactive things. And then there's like a shop and you, you, you earn currency by, by watching and you can earn fancier gear and, and level up your dude. I don't know. It's, it's, it's completely meaningless, but I, I really enjoy it. Um, I'm going to sing a song for all these drunk goblins. Actually, I'm going to eat and drink first. Because I think I'm I am dehydrated now. Uh, we'll drink our last quinoa beer. Still says dehydrated. Two stars in a row. Excellent. Three. Wow. Hat trick. Congrats. I don't know what you get for that. <laughs> or in theory, I tried to get it set up so that if you get like three in a stream, then you get uh, a currency bump. But I don't know that it like it doesn't tell me when that happens, I don't think. So. um, So you may have gotten some of the little, the little currencies, but I don't know for sure. More things that I don't fully understand. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Still says I'm hungry. Uh, we're going to have to find more. Uh, more food and drink at some point. I feel really full. But it still says I'm hungry. Drunk goblins need no excuse. They exist in every bar and many fields, yes. I mean, this is really f these are the first goblins that I've seen in a drinking mound here, uh, because I think we're getting into the this part of the world has been completely overrun by goblins. Uh, perform. The sun sets on hatred. Sing it. You sing sloppily. Oh, is it because I'm drunk? I'm probably too drunk to be singing. Dwarf drunk is no longer enraged. Oh, that's good. Uh, you sing sloppily. That's and everyone says that sounds vaguely like the fill. Oh, this singer doesn't belong here. Oh no, the singer's all right. Dang, I don't. We didn't do that good that time. Um, I definitely want one of these frail drunk goblins. Uh, here you join me. As an entertainer, can you manage a troop so large? Did I already hit the cap again? No, this is a different number. Interesting, so maybe it is tied to my performance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we have way fewer people now. Um, I wonder if anyone here has any food or drink to... To barter? We're all just just a bunch of drunk goblins. Um trade or settle debts. You should probably try a shopkeeper. Okay. Every world ends up completely overrun by them eventually. Immortality be like that. I guess that's true. I mean, if you were an immortal goblin, you would probably turn into a drunk at some point too, right? I think that sounds vaguely realistic. Um, okay, so what are we going to do about food and drink? Um, I don't know if... Like, here's a civic mound. I don't know if there's any actual... Shop keeps in in these mounds. Makes me think of the goblin song. <laughs> I don't know that I know this goblin song. Uh, let's 
see, wood burner, goblin farmer, farmer, stone cutter, tanner, lime maker, fish cleaner, mayor. A hook, a hooked nose mayor. But there's a goblin mayor. Interesting. Mayor, mayor. Conversation. Hello. Hello, Magpie Man. I'm Ungspur. Uh, nope, not that. Continue. I want to trade or settle debts. You say you should probably try a shopkeeper. Okay, fair. The reason brewing is considered one of the oldest professions. Well, it's one of the oldest things we discovered, too. We were making beer before we had cities. Uh, immortals needed something to pass the time aside from the other oldest profession, yes. Which was also probably pretty popular. Um, I guess we should sing while we're here. Perform. Sing. Finish. Uh, let's see. Anything? I sing sloppily. I think I'm... I'm losing my edge! Oh, and I wonder... Okay, so Tun is consistently being the one that performs with me. Conclude. Okay, so then... So here's Tun. Who else is my, my people here? Like skinny human swordsman. Gotcha. Okay, so I... I have created a troop, but not all of my followers are in the troop. I think I have to invite them individually to the troop. Invite to... Okay, yes, it'll be great to perform with me. Okay, cool. Let's actually... Let's do that real quick. Um, I want to make sure... Invite listener, yes. Uh, you should be fine. Fat dwarf. Kick out, no. Uh, I pass. Invite, yes. Cool, okay. Uh, start. Nope, you're already there. Start. Bypass. Invite. Great. Udil, invite, great. Uh, start, bypass, invite, great. There's Tun. Like, so Tun should be in here, right? Yeah, kick out, okay. Uh, continue, kick out. Continue, kick out, okay. So maybe we're good now. Goblins by Necrogoblicon. I've been spending too much time with goblins. I hear them whispering to me every time I try to solve a problem. There's just another goblin. All right, just another goblin in my life. <laughs> I feel like you... I feel like that was shared in Discord at some point. Perhaps. Uh, you're just... Farmer, glass maker, trader. Oh, trader. Converse with goblin trader. Positive attitude. I love it. Uh, bypass. Uh, trade or settle debts. Should probably try a shopkeeper. Really? Okay. You're just like a broker. Dude, do helixes have shops? I don't know that helixes have shops, like the same way that, um, like a human town does. Favorite thing to use in adventure mode is the throwing mechanics really broken if enemies don't have crazy good dodge. That's fair. I'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah, there you go. Mega dork. Uh, oh, there's a castle over there. I wonder if it's a friendly castle. 
I guess I can look at the map, right? This is a... It's a fort. Well, let's go check it out. <laughs> so there's, there's too many goblins in this world. Uh, we probably want to be on the north side. Is that how that works? Did I lose a bunch of people again? No, it says we're all here. And where are they? Are they... are you all in the trees? You're all in trees? Come on, everyone. Really? I don't want to lose more people. They're all just in trees. <laughs> okay. Maybe they'll figure it out. Maybe if I rest? No. See, I don't know what to- I don't know what to do about that. I can't individually tell them to get out of the tree. If I could control them, I could get them down, but I can't. This looks like something. Too tired to stand. Of course I am. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, can we can we sleep here? There we go. Let's just let's just sleep. that that fixed anything. We still have people in theory. Uh, let's see here. I have more cow kidney to eat. <laughs> Hello, Tun. Is it time to make music? Um... I mean, we could do... we can melt snow, right? To make water? Um... I do that by... Igniting? I set a fire. Hooray. Get snow? I don't know if I can actually do that? Can I consume the snow? You lick the snow. <laughs> Do I still have it? Hilarious. Uh, I feel like there's a way... Snowball didn't. <laughs> Snowball fight? I... I wonder... I think there's a lot of things that you can do in this game that I don't quite understand yet. Uh, oh look, grapes! Can I just take the grapes? Pick grape, pick oak leaf. But what about the grapes? Or chicory? Pick chicory leaf. Yeah, why not? Can I eat that? I'm a bird after all. Uh, I'm gonna drop the snow. I'm still holding this wolf meat. You can go in a bag. blood on my body. <laughs> Eat or drink, yeah. Oh, chicory. Yeah, there we go. I lick the chicory, okay. So how do I, how do I cook? Do I need equipment to cook? 
don't think I've ever actually done that before. Uh, oh, we're all in, out in a blizzard. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna save just cause. I'm still getting my bearings in adventure mode. I haven't really sunk my teeth into it, um, like ever. So apologies for the fumbling around. I'll try to do some some Googling between streams to make sure I know what I'm doing a little bit more, but. I'm not doing too bad, I don't think. I, I just, it's all the, it's all the basics, right? Cooking, uh, all that, all that kind of stuff. I don't exactly know how to do. Um, but yes, I want to see if I can get into this place. Here we go. Nope. Yeah. Up. 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 <laughs> okay, this is quite the tower. Now we're on the wall. Hmm. What's even the difference? Oh, because I can... I can go down a ramp or it can like fly out over a ramp. Oh, I see. Okay. Let's keep going down. Kind of. Okay, that's weird. Okay, in theory there's like a there's a structure in here, right? There usually is. Maybe this. There's some beds. Haven't found any people yet. I'm sure everything's fine. Too tired to stand. Should have made someone with more, more endurance. Come on. It's just a, a wall and a, a bunch of beds. Oh yeah, see, I passed out in midair, and that was that was bad. Hold on to wall, okay. <laughs> oh wait, can I even get it back out of here? Oh, nope, stop, stop. This is how I got in. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone in there. Hopefully all my people got back out. Nope, they sure didn't. All right, people. Where'd you all go? Oh, look, a bird. A stork. Yeah, they just, they just get separated and then we never see each other again. Hmm. Well, hopefully they're okay. 
They're all still technically in my performance troop, right? They're just MIA. Uh, can I? Nope, I have to get out of the site still. Glitch. I don't think it's a glitch. I think it's just, I mean, there's probably some bits that I don't fully understand. Uh, but something about their AI is, is being weird. Like if they, if they get too, if they get too separated, it makes sense in, in some fashion for them to like no longer be with me, right? Like I shouldn't be able to get like really separated from a party member and then just fast travel and have them pop in, right? Uh, but but I want them to be able to get to me if it's still possible. Uh, surrounding obstacles. It's just snow. Don't think that's an obstacle. This is all just... Really? What is the obstacle we are facing here? No, I can't go up. How about now? No? Huh. Interesting that I can sleep, but not uh, fast travel from here. start I'm, I'm like out of I'm just out of fluids now and we're just <laughs> I'm just constantly passing out really what is this obstacle you speak of aha okay Okay, from here, what are we doing from here? There's more, there's plenty more helixes. There's a hamlet. Maybe the hamlet might have people we can trade with. How to go to sleep? Okay. Sounds good. Have a good night. Um, hopefully Rickdill will still be here when, when you come back. Um, hopefully this isn't all, oh, this is all going to be Goblin Town, isn't it? Abandoned houses, yeah. There could be... There's a well. There might be stuff worth looting. Probably not. <laughs> it's probably all been looted already. Nope. These are all just, all just empty houses. In theory, there's a well somewhere. Hamlet, Pillix, Fort, no. These are trenches, yeah. I was surprised there's not just goblins everywhere. I just, I can just travel. Hmm. Gobbles make great projectiles? I'm sure they do. Uh, and then these are all going to be abandoned as well. These dang goblins. 
have taken over so much. Okay. And it's only more dangerous from here, right? Like this whole area down here is just solid pack uh, of goblins. Um, there is a dwarf fortress up, I mean, north of us there. There's one up there. Maybe that's what we want to do. The wavy strange baby. <laughs> Oh, and there's this, this fortress as well. That might, is that one we did? Tin Hushed? Elder Guild? Let's see if we can make it to Elder Guild. I don't think we have to go through the goblin pits to get there. It's just, it's just there. Uh, right, it's just south, because this is, this is bad faith. <laughs> this is bad faith. And then, geez. Because I want to say that we, we took over some of the goblin pits. It just says fortress. It's not a dwarven fortress. That's probably actually a bad fortress. So maybe I do want to go north. A lair. There's a lair. Helix. And a fortress. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go north from here. Uh oh. Can't rest because you're dying of thirst. Oh, good. And I just straight up don't have... ...liquids. Can I just get to a river? I didn't even... didn't even think of that until right now. Because of what? Garden Cress? Uh, pick. eat it? I can eat that. I doubt that does anything for my dying of thirst. Ooh, a little pond. Okay, can I make campfire? No. I should be able to drink from a pond, right? Uh, can I... I have a water skin drop it, I can wear it, I can eat or drink. Fill with stagnant water, yes. Probably not the best, but stagnant water. I'm starting to feel full, okay. So I'm not, I'm still dehydrated. Feel really full. But still, still dehydrated and hungry. Okay. Uh, but I can... Fill it again, right? Uh... Fill. And I have... Fill. Oh, it's already full. Okay. I thought I had another. I just have the one water skin. Uh, okay, so now that's gonna let me fast travel though, right? Yeah. We can just make it to this fortress. These are, these are helixes. Her, maybe? It is just north of us. No significant structures. Fortress entrance. Yeah, there we go. Am I alone now? No. They're just... 
Okay. <laughs> it's just di it's dark. Okay. Let's sleep until dawn. There's no way I'm going to find a fortress entrance in the dark. It's still... is it like a blizzard or something? It's still really dark. Can I wait? Perfect. Good. It must be... it must be the snowstorm. It's right here, is it? Never gonna find it. Nope, stop. Stop. Uh, maybe we'll wait some more. I'd love to be able to see. Is this is this a me problem? Like I'm I'm dehydrated, but Okay. Why can't I see anything? Uh, and this is all just labeled as fortress entrance. Here, 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 here. So that means it's here, right? Not that that helps. You're one of my friends, right? We just keep... Oh, where's Todd? We just keep losing people. Uh... This is constructed something. What... What have I found? Interesting. I was going to go back up. Like, is this... What is this? It's just a giant... Glad I can fly. Giant square wall. Nope, stop. Stop. This is clearly something. And I am overexerted. Too tired. Fine, I'll sleep some more. Aha, now I can see. It must have been a blizzard or something. So now, may I stand? There we go. This is just a, a giant square. Is there something in the middle? Not really. What the heck? It's gotta be related at least, right? Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Found something. 
Hey, look! A random goblin tooth. I think we're in the right place. Uh, there's a there's a trade depot. Let's say who's here? Oh, there's all. Oh my goodness. Okay. Is there anyone here who would actually trade with me? A big dwarf. Uh. You dwarf. Pusillanimous. Okay. Uh. Dense haired dwarf, goblin herbalist, goblin goblin stone cutter, swordsman, frail human, goblin butcher, planter, mason, administrator. Count consort. Uh, hi, Count Consort. How are you? I think they're all they're all still asleep, aren't they? Okay. This is a this is just a giant empty room with a trade depot. Uh oh. Can I can I sleep here? Nope. Can't rest because you're dying of thirst. Perfect. Too tired to stand. Uh, I want to sleep. There we go. Maybe... Oh, I see more. Dwarf miners become enraged. Goblin has become enraged. Oh, they're all going to fight each other. Cool. Uh, let's not get involved. The human carpenter, woodcutter, there's a whole bunch of people over here. Look at all these goblins. You and Mason becomes enraged. Weaponsmith, paper maker, fish dissector, hunter. I think, I think we need to sing for them. Oh, there I see, do I see booze? Is this a little tavern? Um, there is a barrel, brimstone barrel. I don't know if any of these are like a tavern keeper, woodcutter, just a goblin, a fat dwarf. Uh, right, I want to go over here. Oh, they're all fighting. No, they're all fighting. Okay, I'm going to get through the bar brawl to the booze. Uh, that's my that's my idea here. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, there's dwarven beer in here. So I'm going to go into my, my water skin, right? Fill from barrel, yeah. Yeah, okay. So now can I drink that? Dwarven beer. Dwarven beer. Let's get sloppy drunk on dwarven beer because we've been dying of dehydration in the wilderness. Starting to feel full. Just now I attacked me. Interesting. Uh, they're all having fun. Wolf meat. Yes. Feel really full. I'm still hungry, but I'm really full. Um. I don't know if they're still. Are they fighting still? There, no, the dwarf miner is enraged. And there's a there's a human swordsman. Okay, I think I think we're gonna do our secret our secret technique. We're gonna sing our one song. They're all fighting. Come on, join in song with me. Join in song with me. Uh, Fisher Dwarf charges at the goblin. Dwarf collides with goblin. Uh, Goblin Trapper attacks Dwarf Fisher Dwarf. I'll sing with you. Excellent. We'll all sing together. It's like a spirit bomb. Just, just sing at the screen. The energy will get there. Uh, Fat Goblin looks sick. Be the strangled whale of ten thousand Gorlax. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can't be doing worse than our than our than our drunkard dwarf friends. <laughs> 
<laughs> that sounds vaguely like a thill. So there, there's someone's helping me. Uh, so the axolotls and the giant slugs. Goblin wretches. I sing sloppily. Okay. Um, I'm just going to continue my song here. And hope that no one punches me. <laughs> Clearly we came at just the right time. Oh dear. Goblin wretches. Dwarf miners no longer enraged. Okay. Uh, Clother has become enraged. Goblin is no longer enraged. Goblin wretches. Goblin wretches. Icing sloppily. The goblin wretches. Goblin wretches. Goblin wretches. Oh my god. This poor fat goblin. Dwarves are popping off. <laughs> This singer's all right. This singer could be worse. We are we are ways too sloppy, apparently. This singer's fine. This singer's okay. Singer could be better. It's just us. And us. We were. We've been adventuring in the wilds too long. We're not up on our. Uh, we're not at the, at the top of our gang any. Top of our game anymore. Uh, goblins are realizing immortality won't save them from a stubby arm to the gut. Classic. They all learn the hard way. But now they're gonna pet the dog. Good. Okay, they seem to be okay now. I don't think they're. I don't think they're uh, fighting anymore. Now that's a proper dwarven. <laughs> You, you gotta love just stepping foot into a into a Doran fortress and you look over there and there's a brawl. You didn't even have to do anything. It's just it's just how it works. Um, okay, so I'm gonna refill my water skin with dwarven beer. I'm assuming like, should I drink more? It's too ma it's too much! Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, so now I'm dehydrated and nauseous. That's great. Can I... Am I allowed to sleep in here? There we go. I'm just gonna pass out on the beer barrel and hope that everything stops spinning when I'm... when I wake up. Oh, are things bad? I am unconscious. <laughs> uh, cannot breathe. What? Regain consciousness. Okay. Can I stand? I retch and then stand. Okay. Um, I am still hungry and dehydrated and winded and nauseous. Really, I need something that's not booze. Um, I, I slept for eight hours and woke up and puked. So that's good. Um, did I... Finish the water skin again. Here, can I fill from brimstone with rum? Oh, okay. What do you mean, not booze? <laughs> what kind of dwarf is this? This isn't a dwarf. We're a bird person. I need, I need some water. I think. I don't think, I don't think magpies are supposed to be drinking rum. Something tells me. Uh, dwarven wine. Okay. All darn featherheads. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna have. They're not gonna have anything. Um, and they're all just gonna continually become enraged and fight each other in here. Hilarious. Um, I'm gonna save. Uh, see if we can make ourselves not die. That'd be good. I don't know if I can just sleep it off and, and keep drinking beer. I don't know if like my my body weight factors into it or anything. Cause I think I'm a I think I'm a small bird person. I'm a I'm a bird person, and my one skill is singing. That's just, that's just how it works. Um, I mean, yeah, just rum. And 
like I'm still I am still dehydrated. I don't know how easy it is to, to hydrate yourself with beer. Cause like in, in real life that's not a great idea. Uh but it's what I have. Starting to feel full. Okay. So then I'm gonna can't rest because you can't breathe. That's a good sign. <laughs> Just retching constantly. Oh, uh. Oh, am I falling over or something? Regain consciousness. Uh, this is fine. Whatever. Stop. Just. Fat Goblin Trapper. Just grip of Fat Goblin Trapper's. Upper are like they're wrestling. They're just wrestling. Can't rest because I can't breathe. What is that? I don't know why that happened. I'm winded. Jeez. Oh no, my lungs. Function totally impaired. What happened? Did I get. Did I get hit? They're all fighting each other. I'm just like losing and regaining consciousness. Can I... I can't rest because I can't breathe. That's so disconcerting. Uh, here, just stand up, please. No longer stunned. Can I rest now? Nope, I still can't breathe. Can someone get me a doctor? Oh no, did I just die? I have suffocated. Interesting. Oh, this floor is all gold. Interesting. Uh... I don't know how to... I don't know how to not do that. Uh... I want to quit without saving. This. this might not be a very recent save. It is definitely convenient to adventure as a goblin since you don't need to eat or drink. Yeah, we're way back here. Um, oh goodness. And I'm already, like, I'm still in this death spiral. We'll admit the chill version of Megalovania did in fact neck check me. <laughs> I love, I love, I mean I love all of this music but uh, all of the Undertale uh, remixes are, are fantastic. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna view. <laughs> okay. Um, gonna eat some wolf meat. Let's see if I can actually become not hungry. That would be nice. Um, but we're also near a river, right? Aren't we like right on a river? Maybe a frozen river? I'm gonna have to do some learning about what exactly makes all the... like why just stunned to death, just lost the ability to breathe. Not sure what happened there. Uh, can I sleep here? Yeah, let's... Let's sleep. Uh, and can I fast travel? Nope. We're just gonna go this way. Can I... Oh, okay. Yes, yes. It's just a big old mountain. Uh, hemp. The Kaniwa oats. I want some oats. Can I just take the oats? Pick oat leaf. 
uh, oat leaf. You lick the oat leaf. Got it. Okay, and then we're good. Okay, I'm gonna try to get to that that fortress again. But we're gonna get there earlier this time. Also, there's water here, maybe. Can I just... You've discovered a river! Yay! Somewhere? Is it frozen? It's a frozen river. So that's helpful. Gosh dang it. This is gonna separate me from all my people, too. They're all, like, over here, right? Now they're just- they're just gone. They're just gone! Not visible. Oh look, wolves. Let's not tangle with those. I don't know where my friends went. Can they catch up to me? There they are. I think we've we've lost a couple more. Uh nope. Okay. Goodness. How about now? Okay, cool. If we can get to the fortress, then maybe we'll be fine. Here we go. And of course, I still can't see anything. Uh, let's rest until dawn. Hooray. Uh, I can probably eat some wolf meat. We're, we're still, we're stunned. Not sure what the stunning comes from. There's... I can lick the water skin. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll eat at least. And then let's wait. So I need to... I need to be able to see to find this... This dang place. Uh, really? Let's just wait another wait another three hours. Uh, like what is it? Is it currently nighttime? Is that what's going on? Let's just wait, or let's let's sleep until dawn. Travel because you're dying of thirst. Very cool. Like where? <laughs> oh, here we go. Have I found it maybe? Aha! Okay. We've made it inside. It's still really dark. Okay. Can I make it over to this... <laughs> to this tavern? Oh, uh, no, this is different. It's like up here, right? Yeah. Hello! Just crawling on my hands and knees. Where's your beer? There we go. Uh... May I... Get. Pick up 40 rum with your left hand. Perfect. 
Uh, may I just chug it? Drink. I'm gonna try not to kill myself this time. This is like the one... Like now can I rest until dawn? Because I'm not dying? Maybe I kept waking up because I was dying of thirst. And then I can drink another, yes, and then and then sleep. <laughs> Is this helping? Am I doing anything useful here? I am still dehydrated. Now they're all sleeping. I don't know why I can't see anything. Um, I mean, I can drink. I can drink another, right? I like how I'm literally carrying a barrel worth of rum in one hand and just kind of sipping from it every once in a while. Um, but let's try. I'm gonna wait for three hours. I don't know. I don't... I'm not sure why I don't see anything. Is this my lack of dark vision? I also don't know where my people went. They're around somewhere, I'm sure. Are they... they're just following me. Okay. Uh, let's try waiting somewhere. I mean, is it my... Is it my hunger situation or thirst situation that's getting, like, my reducing my vision? That's the main thing I don't understand. I'm starting to feel full. just confused this okay so this is gonna be the way down into the fortress itself hopefully this isn't a terrible idea can just fly down, can't I? As long as I don't lose consciousness in the middle of this. Hey, look, a dog. And a cat. And a, and a dwarf. Okay, cool. Discovered a cave. Okay. Oh, and this is going to be the highway. There was a... I mean, we saw like a big dotted line over here, right? I think that's like an underground highway. Um... A rooster scratches at the floor. Okay. And there's my friends. And then... There's... This passage... This is a... This is not a... Ooh, look at all this. This is a world gen fortress, so it's going to look very different. Wish I had like a light source, maybe. What's all this? Not that these fortresses have any logic to them. Too tired to stand. Okay, fine. Can't rest because I'm dying of thirst. Drink. Rest.
I mostly just want to find someone who would let me, like, live here. But, like, finding a specific person in a fortress like this is, is kind of difficult, right? Like, look how... Look how serpentine this all is. Oh, are you... You're one of my people, aren't you? Yeah, kick out of green pumpkins. There's a... there's a forge. Okay, well I'm well and truly lost now. If I can make it back to the um too tired to stand, dying of thirst, yes, yes. Rinse and repeat. Maybe I'll drink two of them this time. Us somewhere. More big empty rooms. Nope, stop. Stop. Oh, look! Human Miller, skinny baroness. Oh, hi. Hello. But you're asleep. Uh, cannot see dawn. Wait, really? I can't... <laughs> I can't sleep until dawn because I don't know when daybreak is. That's funny. Uh, drink some more rum. Eat some more kidney. And then we're just gonna sleep for four hours. And see if people are awake when we get up. Oh, that looks better. Uh, Baroness, start conversation. Hello. You wretch. <laughs> Hello, magpie man. I am Odon. The servant of misery greets you. Interesting. Uh, continue. Uh, directions, local ruler. I want a request. I want to... No, I want... Make a demand, investigate, ask to join you, claim site, uh, trade partners, surrounding area, express emotions. Flattering remark, try to calm the listener. There's one where you can request a stay. Brag about past violent acts. The Baroness, uh, the Squash Lances' rules, Craft Hot. Don't know anything else. The Seat of Thob is also located here. Oh. Interesting. So she might actually not, might not be from here. Asked to join you in an insurrection. Uh... Ask for directions? I want... Just tell me where the leader is. Hi. Great. Um... Ask about somebody. Ask to join... I mean, is there another... Okay. Hmm. Well, we found some people. A muscular dwarf. Ask about the ruler. I'm stretching. Uh, I 
Oh, what a silly door. Or farmer, inhuman. Just constant retching. Real Baron. Baron of Arrow Eagle. I swear there was a way to join a, like, request to join a fortress. Um. Ask about somebody. Just a little bit too too little to know what I'm doing here. Uh, human carpenter. Stray cat head bumps the farmer. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, outpost liaison. Can you help me? Flame sight. No. people yes uh geez woodcutter outpost liaison broad chin bareness of somewhere else i think Um, dwarf, cheesemaker, liaison, pump operator. Well, we made it back to the middle for whatever good that does. Just sit here and wait for for an important person to come by. Short nose Baron Consort. That's gonna be like to different sites, right? Keep thinking closing the menu will get me back. Are you just not going to answer me? Okay, thanks. Straight hair militia commander. The frigid crack <laughs> sounds like a place. Uh, let's maybe not visit the the frigid crack. Um. Local ruler, settled debts. Yeah, who do I gotta talk to? Farmer, 
Militia Commander. Jeez, this is a very busy corridor here. Frail Baroness of Tinhushed. I guess where are we? Oh, that's cool. I can see the underground map. Oh, interesting. Um, what was the name of this fortress? We are in Craft Tot. Yeah, that is cool. I think we could... Oh, interesting. Did that actually move me? No, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. So that means we could fast travel along this road even. That's interesting. Actually, it did move me, didn't it? Our, where's our people now? Oh, they're nearby somewhere. Yeah, put me on the road. My goals are important to me. Okay, cool. Oh, come on. Who are, who are you? Braille Bri Baron of Bridge Galleys. Oh, hell, I always forget when I get really into a channel. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, no worries. You make, you make your make your guys dance. <laughs> uh, but if you're into it enough that you forgot to follow, then I take that as a compliment. So all good. I mean, I could try to claim it for myself. I don't think that's what I want to do, though. Um, I swear on our other character when we were walking around in a fortress, it was like every second person was giving us the option to to request to join. So now I don't know who I got to talk to. Right? Yeah, I want to go... I think I want to go up some. Jeez. Yes, yes. Okay. We made it here. Oh, but this is like the top again. Okay. Uh, but now we're back at the trade depot. Oh, look. Oh, weird. It must just be... There's no... It's just dark in here? Is that the... Idea? Because in theory, I should be able to see out here when I'm standing here, right? That's what's catching me off guard. Hammerman, butcher, siege engineer, dwarf, planter, broker. Can I? What about the broker? How are you feeling? Ask about a person, settle debts, place request, join new, claim site, trade partner, surrounding area, motions, values, weather, surroundings, flutter, calm, choir. Yeah, I don't know inside underground but like this is inside already like this is inside and this is inside but they count as they count differently i guess mason animal dissector hammerman butcher farmer miner yeah okay um it's an originally generated fortress. The underside of the covered middle is counted as underground as it has never seen the sky. Oh, gotcha. So the rest of this is, is outside 
and just has a roof. I am familiar with that part. But I feel like you should be able to see... Even if it's underground, I should be able to see further than that, I feel. But, you know, who am I to say? Um, I think what's going to happen here is I'm going to call it for the day. This is at the end of my, my normal time here. I'm going to do some googling. Can see good one is above ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it determined racially? Oh, interesting. Oh, I probably I probably don't have very good eyesight as a as a bird creature. I like dark vision. Underground species can see better underground. That makes sense. There's not really like torches, right? I don't get to I don't get to bring a light source with me. Cause that'd be cool. Um, I'm gonna save here. And I'm going to do some Googling and see if I can figure out, you know, wh who I need to talk to and how best to find them. Because um, I would like to add my, my performance troop to this fortress. Um, that's kind of the goal here. Um, just need to find a person. And I'll also do some more about, you know, figuring out how to eat and drink effectively. Because <laughs> uh, that seems important. Uh, but we'll we'll get there. Unfortunately, currently there aren't carryable light sources. I guess that's a thing we should get, isn't it? I wonder if that's a thing you could mod. I wonder how that would work. Can you go check out the mod library? I think that's what I should do. Um, adventure has been an awesome to be along with. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying our silly bird person on the bard adventure of a lifetime. Um, I'm going to I'm going to be done for here for the day. Um, I'll be back on Thursday. I'm doing Mondays, Thursdays and Saturdays um, this this same time. Um, so I'll be I'll be around for more uh, of this at that time. Um, and I want to do I want to do a couple adventures. I want to see if I can get my my teeth into it and, and learn what's going on. Um, we'll go back to fortress mode at some point as well. So, you know, Mordor Fortress, Hooray Door Fortress. This is this is my favorite game. So. Uh, there's gonna be more of it um and we'll see we'll see where it takes us so thank you for coming by thanks for the follow i appreciate having people around um i let me get my, my phone thing needs to do uh, come on uh today's today's episode was brought to you by birds tweet 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 uh but also by you clicking buttons and following thank you and and liking and subscribing and uh, join in Discord and lurking and, and making a dork down there. All that good stuff. Um, that's what I'm here for. That's the song I'm singing right now. So I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you coming by. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of your week. And I hope you stay kind. <laughs>